So, so hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Kenwood THD7. And, uh, only thing, like I said about the radio, I believe one thing, well, one thing, is that this radio is received as on par with the motor, with Motorola series radios. One. Two, I think failure points on this radio is, is going to be your clip retaining system. And there's the information for you. Apparently this is a second gen THD7A. Which the, the, the main purpose I bought this radio for was actually to do some APRS stuff. But I never got around. Well, it's not that I can't get around. It's just I'm trying to figure out how to interface this with APRS Droid. There's got to be a way you'd be able to do that. But to do that, I don't know how to do that. Give you a nice close-up view of that. Again, there's there's that there's the uh, the model number for you. Uh, what I'm trying to figure out too, like everybody else, is you have your your speaker connection here, your mic. You know, that's for your speaker mic. Your PC that'd be like for programming and connecting for to your PC. And that's your uh, your GPS input right there, and it takes the the little bitty jack. Like I said, um, very useful radio. It does do the uh, um, the AX25 protocol. Uh, it has a built-in TNC. It's just me. I'm trying to figure out how to interface this with API Droid. This, yeah. Do this one handed. And that's another thing I hate about these two. Is like, um, you, you can have your tone on, but if you have your CTCSS on, it mutes your receive and you know unless you have your ctcss open audio audio is great um it's a I, it, it's <laughs> you know it's i think it's still a very capable radio i mean for analog operation oh great the points, it is APRS capable. It does decode APRS packets. Uh, full duplex, so that means you can you can receive you can receive on both bands at one time. Okay, go here. Okay, like I have it in single single mode there. You want to go to uh, to dual receive or do uh, hit dual brings you there <clears throat> put some uh, do some quick run throughs too with this um, let me get it to where you can see it what you're going to do is you're going to hit your your menu key well no hold on it's your function key with your offset your ctcss your ctcss off your tone for your tone tone off um, uh, let's say I want to enter something. Mm, let's go down to this band here. Okay, I'm going to enter. Wow, it's say one four six five two oh four six five two. Oh, there you go. That's there. And you can also hit your call down here on this thing. Uh, where is that? Your call it takes you straight to one four six five two oh. Um. And you access your tones and stuff like this. You go here. Okay, it says tone off. Hit it once. Scroll down. You know, that's how you select that. See right there, your tone's off. Okay, hit your function key. Tone on. Hit your function key again. Scroll to your tone frequency. I don't think this does splits either. But, I mean, 
I, mean, I love it. I love the HT. And the cool thing with this is that most radios don't do anymore is you have your uh, your 13 volts here. 13 point right there. You can plug it up and it'll charge. Now, I don't know if this radio has a individual charging circuit in it. But, I mean, rock solid radio. I wish it used... Um, lithium ion but when this radio came out it only has uh, nickel metal hydride I believe and now uh, there's that which I think this is an aftermarket sale which I didn't pay two three hundred bucks for the radio uh, like I said it is APRS capable it will decode APRS packets which is pretty neat um, that's mainly why I bought it was for the APRS function but I mean, great little radio for what I paid for it. Um, like I said, um, you know, your TNC, let's see. Um, that opens your TNC. Hit it to see opening TNC. I mean, I think you hit it again, turn it off. Um, but the only thing I don't like is that... Uh, oh, and a little um, little thing here I want to show real quick. Uh, you go, okay, program info, 144 to 147. You know, you do that. So I have it set to the bottom. And here's your top of your, um, the, your band list here. 147, 144 to 147. It will receive on public safety... Um, frequencies and stuff like that but uh, it will not it will not allow you to transmit and you know I have a crappy antenna on it you know just to have an antenna on it uh, a little tip tip too that I learned from some other uh, videos is that try to get you a BNC connector that I made to your SMA and you know uh, I didn't know this but I found out you know your, your SMA connectors have a lifespan uh, you can only screw them and unscrew them so many times and uh, all that good stuff but, yeah this radio is not that big it's not really that heavy but there's the information on it if you want to look it up made in Japan a lot of radios isn't anymore and if they are, they're designed in Japan and then engineered overseas. So yeah, just thought I would give you a quick rundown of that, <clears throat> of that radio and that good stuff. I might make another video uh, on some Motorola stuff, maybe some Kimwood stuff. I got the um, I got the TK790 going little mod your audio might be quiet on that too um draw a little hole out because there's little slots there and the neat part is about that i have the remote kit for that too but um oh hot yeah but yeah that's uh that's this review on the uh the uh the kenwood th thd7 uh highlights pros uh, you can work satellites with it, and if you can figure out a way to interface this with the GPS, which I'm still trying to do, it is APR. It is APR is capable. You just got to have that interface cable. Um, menu system is very intuitive on that. But that's about it, and that's all I got today. Uh, I've looked up these radios, and they must appear on these things still like 300 bucks. But mainly, well, like I said, why I bought it. It's the APRS capability, all that good stuff. So, yep, I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna try to knock out another video tomorrow. Uh, and again, it's a Kimwood TH D7. Uh, got a pretty good deal on that. So, yeah, I'll catch y'all guys later. Have any questions or anything, message me. I can comment on there and I can run some, run, you know, run through the functions, anything. I might make a, a more detailed video about it. But yeah, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, have a good day, good night. Catch you guys later.